Let's step outside right now in the Sunday evening. This is our Cameron Emeryville looking at San Francisco. Uh, I think that's fog and I think that's haze. We just did a, a story on a grass fire. So summer is going to really be impacting us soon. Yeah, despite the fact the temperatures are still, you know, in the 60s around San Jose Terry, you pointed it out. We have the dry hills, add a little wind that certainly increases the risk of any of those grass fires taking off. And we have some breezy conditions around San Jose, Northwest at 15. Now keep in mind this weekend ending in the upper 60s later this week. 90s becoming more common for our inland valleys. It's one of the changes you're going to see momentarily here in the seven day forecast at the bottom of the screen. Look at Dublin, a pretty comfortable 69 degrees. Cool temperatures as you head over to San Rafael at uh, 66 and San Francisco chilly again. You got the blanket of low clouds at 59 degrees. And as you take a look at the satellite view coming up, you'll see how far inland some of those low clouds have been spilling over the last couple of mornings. A couple more days like this setting up for Monday into Tuesday, then starting around midweek. High pressure makes a big comeback. That's going to lead us to valley temperatures eventually into the 80s and 90s as we head towards next weekend. Now here is a look at the satellite view and you can see the clouds already spilling back across the bay there towards Emeryville. To the north we have thunderstorms up towards Mendocino County and uh, getting into parts of Lake County and the Sierra. Same setup for tomorrow. You see all the low clouds around the bay, some drizzle at times for the morning. And then after lunchtime tomorrow, not far from Ukiah, they're off to the north and east and over the Sierra, especially north of Lake Tahoe, a chance of more of those afternoon thunderstorms. So around the Bay Area tomorrow morning, low clouds to start. Sunshine moving forward into the afternoon. Chilly low 60s near San Francisco and uh, mid 70s around Concord and Fairfield. Now moving forward, this is why temperatures are going to see a big change for the second half of the week. Watch high pressure here really starting to set up as we head towards next weekend and potentially all the way out to 4th of July. Now you can see how those warm temperatures and hot temperatures set up for some of our inland valleys. So as we watch this temperature trend, now we're moving forward to Thursday. You're seeing 80s around San Jose and 70s and 80s Bayside by Friday. Notice now Friday afternoon. Concord and Fairfield into the 90s, low 90s around Morgan Hill, upper 80s around San Jose, North Bay into the upper 80s. And for next weekend, you're seeing temperatures around Fairfield and Morgan Hill that could be approaching the mid 90s. So very likely the hottest temperatures of the year just around the corner. If you've been looking for some of the heat, you'll find it inland, but maybe not so much around San Francisco. Right now, it looks like we might get closer to 70 by Friday and Saturday. So trending a little bit warmer, but here's the big change. Going from the 60s and low 70s tomorrow for the valleys to upper 80s and low 90s later this week. Almost a 20 degree jump in those temperatures. So if this weekend, the first weekend of summer, didn't feel like it, we'll certainly get there by next week. And if those valleys climbing into the 80s and 90s this time next weekend. Back to you. Wow.